Ever wondered why, despite following the common diabetes diet religiously, your blood sugar levels still fluctuate? We've all heard the conventional wisdom. If you have diabetes, you need to drastically cut back on sugar and carbs. It's a belief that's as common as apple pie and it seems to make sense on the surface. After all, blood sugar comes from the sugar and carbs we eat, right? But here's the catch. Many diabetics dutifully follow these dietary guidelines. They say no to donuts, they turn their backs on bread, and they give the cold shoulder to sugar. Yet despite their best efforts, their blood sugar levels continue to roller coaster. It's frustrating, it's disheartening, and it's downright baffling. So what's going on here? How can you be doing everything right but still not see the results you're aiming for? Could it be that the common diabetes diet advice is not as effective as we thought? Maybe it's time to challenge the status quo and rethink our approach to managing diabetes. Recent studies suggest that the traditional diabetes diet may not be the one-size-fits-all solution we've been led to believe. In fact, they indicate that the way forward might be a bit more nuanced than we previously thought. Research is increasingly pointing towards the importance of individualized diet plans. While the common advice has always been to avoid carbs and sugars, New findings highlight how factors like genetics, lifestyle, and even our gut microbiome can influence our response to different foods. Take for instance, the role of our gut microbiome, that complex community of microorganisms living in our digestive tract. Studies have shown that it can significantly affect how we metabolize sugars and carbs. This means that two people can eat the exact same meal, yet their blood sugar responses could be vastly different. Then there's the surprising revelation about carbs and sugars. While excess is never good, certain types can actually benefit those with diabetes. Complex carbs, found in foods like whole grains and legumes, and natural sugars and fruits, can provide sustained energy and help regulate blood sugar levels. The concept of a total diet approach is also gaining traction. Instead of focusing on individual foods, this approach considers the overall pattern of your diet, emphasizing balance and variety. It appears that a more personalized approach to diet may be the key to better blood sugar control. It's time to move away from restrictive dieting and towards a tailored, balanced diet that suits you best. So where does this leave us in terms of managing diabetes through diet? Well, let's take a moment to recap what we've discussed so far. We've challenged the long-held belief that a stringent, low-sugar, low-carb diet is the be-all and end-all solution for diabetes management. Yes, it's true, those are important aspects to consider, but they're not the whole picture. Instead, we've proposed a different approach, one that emphasizes the importance of a personalized diet plan. Why? Because each individual is unique, with different metabolic responses, lifestyle habits, and genetic predispositions. It's not just about numbers on a nutrition label, it's about how your body responds to what you eat. And we've also underscored the need to consider other factors beyond just sugar and carb intake. Let's not forget about the role of proteins, fats, fibers, and even the timing of your meals. These elements can also have a significant impact on your blood sugar levels and overall health. But let's be clear, this isn't a one-stop solution either. This evolving perspective on diabetes diet management is based on emerging research, and there's still a lot to learn. It's crucial to consult with healthcare professionals, dietitians, and nutritionists who can guide you in developing an effective, personalized diet plan. Remember, managing diabetes is not just about cutting out sugar or carbs, but finding a diet that works for you. After all, when it comes to diabetes management, one size definitely does not fit all. Drop the needle. How I Kiss Those Blood Sugar Spikes and Nasty Insulin Jabs. Goodbye. Click the link in description to learn more.